Hello again, my name is Gabe Zona. You know, YouTube gave me one of my three strikes because I spoke about the high rate of suicides in transgenders when they realize that they can't reverse the process. Just read an article on Daily Wire. I'll give you the highlights. I found it to be most interesting. It was written on October the 2nd, 2017. More transgenders are regretting surgery, but no one wants to talk about it. Well, I did. And I got thrown off of YouTube because of it. There are a number of people who have undergone so-called, quote, gender reassignment, end of quote, surgery, who regret it deeply, and they are largely being ignored in the rush to pronounce such surgery a beneficial act. Professor Mislav Dejodovic of Belgrade, one of the world's leading genital reconstructive surgeons, has spoken with at least a dozen men who have undergone the traumatic surgery involving removing their genitalia and now wish to reverse the procedure. According to the Telegraph, the clients in question come from all over Europe. The Telegraph explains reattaching the male genitalia is a complex procedure and take several operations over the course of a year to fully complete at a cost of 18,000 pounds. What do they do? Keep the genitalia pickled? Huh? The Jovek stated that many of these individuals have contemplated suicide. Well, many of them have committed suicide. Yet it has been alleged that the Bath Spa University rejected an application for research on gender reassignment reversal because it was a subject deemed, quote, potentially politically incorrect, end of quote. The Telegraph reports James Caspian, a psychotherapist who specializes in working with transgender people, suggested the research after a conversation with Professor Dajovic in 2014 at a London restaurant where the Serbian told him about the number of reversals he was seeing and the lack of academic rigor on the subject. According to Caspian, the university initially approved his proposal to research the transitioning. He then amassed some preliminary findings that suggested a growing number of young people, particularly young women, who were transitioning their gender and then regretting it. But after submitting the more detailed proposal to Bath Spa, Caspian discovered that he being referred to the University Ethics Committee, which rejected it over fears of criticism that might be directed toward the university. Never mind the people, huh? Caspian said the university told him, quote, engaging in potentially political and correct piece of research carries a risk to the university. Attacks on social media may not be confined to the researcher, but may involve the university. The posting of unpleasant material on blogs or social media may be detrimental to the reputation of the university. The judge commented, quote, definitely reversal surgery and regret in transgender person is one of the very hot topics. Generally, we have to support all research in this field. One anonymous transgender person told The Guardian that if she had been counseled, she might not have gone through the process, admitting, had that been the case for me, I might not have transitioned. I was so focused on trying to change my gender, I never stopped to think about what gender meant. Devejevic is afraid that the current World Professional Association for Transgender Health Guidelines forbidding, quote, gender reassignment, end of quote, surgery to anyone under 18 could be altered to include minors. He said he would not perform the surgery, adding, I'm afraid what will happen five to ten years later with this person. It is more than about surgery. It's an issue of human rights. I cannot accept them as a patient because I'd be afraid of what would happen to their brain and mind. Well, I think Dr. Dejovic should find a new career. Doing it when he knows what happens to many of these people is wrong. Why would anyone want to do that to another human being? Cut off their penis or mess around with their vagina, totally insane. Removing their breasts, it's insane. I said it, they have a high rate of suicide.
because they can't reverse the process. A lot of people go through different phases. That's all it is. They'll pass through that phase. But once they've gone ahead and had their penis removed or had their vagina altered, they're in for a horror story. I'll attach the link. You read it. You let me know what you think. And YouTube, you can go screw yourself. You gave me a strike when I talked about a CNN article about a little boy transitioning and convincing his mother to become his father. I didn't write the article. I didn't do the video. CNN did. And you want to give somebody a strike, give it to them. But instead, you gave it to me. Thanks for listening, folks. These people are nuts.